The dairy science program at SDSU covers the whole spectrum of dairy from farm to product. And there isn't another program like this, I believe, in the country. We've had Holsteins here at the university from virtually the beginnings of our campus dairy program. Throughout the period, it's been registered Holsteins. And it's, it's been an interesting history. Back in 1912, one of our Holsteins, College Belle Wayne, she was the top producer west of the Mississippi. And then uh, we had the opportunity to take her around on a train to show everybody you know, what a top producing Holstein looks like. The dairy industry has been evolving. And so, for example, in this state here in South Dakota, butter was a primary product. And so for butter, you need fat. And then over time, simply because of demand and other needs, the butter industry began to maybe decline a little bit, but the cheese industry began to expand. And for cheese, you need proteins. And so the Holstein breeders responded to that by breeding Holsteins for protein and milk production. And so, so Holstein really has been very proactive in responding to the needs of the dairy industry. We have to be able to feed a growing population. And in order to do that, we need to have a lot of background information. At the school dairy farm, all of our cows are registered. So I believe there's so much research and information about the Holsteins that we're able to have a better product of milk from them, whether that gets made into cheese, yogurt, or ice cream. Here at the plant, we do the start through finish process of manufacturing dairy products. We start with receiving the milk and then we pasteurize, go through every single step in the manufacturing and at the very end, our product ends up on the shelves in the stores going to the consumers. Each product is start to finish made solely by students. And the milk that we receive to make the products comes from the farm right down the road. So everything is very fresh, made from our own cows and our own students. Cookies and cream ice cream was actually invented right here at SDSU. That is also one of our most popular flavors. It really is a very special place. I'd like to say we have, through the program, made some huge impacts on, on careers of individuals. Within the department, we have dairy production, we have dairy manufacturing, and food science as our majors. And so what this does is it provides our students hands-on experience. But in addition to that hands-on experience at the plant here, we also have a lot of companies that come in to do research. And so the students have the opportunity to work with these companies. So they're looking at not just textbook, lab type of work, but they're looking at real things that are happening in the industry. And so just imagine as an 18 to 22 year old having this opportunity to work with, quote, the real world. And then at the end of this, you get an incredible job offer. If not one, maybe four or five job offers. So overall, I think it's just an outstanding opportunity for students. So I'm ready to go back to school myself and start over again. And I've been here for 30 some years, having seen that many students and having seen also, the, for example, the students I had 30 years ago and what they're doing in the industry today is incredible. Wherever you go, you'll see a lot of our alumni uh, that are making just huge influence on the dairy industry. I think the future looks really bright because the demand for dairy products have not changed. It provides you a, just a broad spectrum of nutritional quality. And so that just markets itself. And so as we look at the future, as the world population increases, there's just going to be an increase in the demand for proteins that can be provided through milk proteins. And these have evolved just over the last few years. There are just an amazing number of possibilities for developing new products from the same basic milk. The Holstein breeders are, are aware of the genetics, and so they're able to apply the genetics in order to produce cows that will respond to those needs.